Are y'all both on three inch? Which one he on? He on I. Me? Which one is he? Uh, she has her hair. Okay. Thank you. All right. I'm back. Yeah. So you said, what? How do I see what's going on? The rotation for the Warriors for uh, Porter being going to GP three, GP two going. I think they just they got their money. That's cool, and they had to make room for the other guys anyway. So let's be realistic. Let's be realistic. Where was GP two on his way before coming to the Warriors? G League. He was on his way out the league. Oh, out the league, yeah. Exactly. Now he's great. He's great. I won't lie, like he's a huge loss. And same with Otto Porter. He couldn't stay healthy. Even with this season with the Warriors, he couldn't stay healthy. Yeah, foot problems in the yeah. playoffs. Yep, yeah, foot problems. Yeah. And, um, uh, the Elisa saying he wasn't even playing in Miami. Oh, the Elisa oh, going to? Yeah, he went back home. He got like a two year, four million dollar deal. Oh yeah, I understand. I understand. Yeah, it's like <laughs> he probably can make the same amount over there. Yeah. He's not getting no big contract like, over here. And then I could yeah, do so my people like, my family is like, well, who wouldn't do that? Yeah. <laughs> so it's like, y'all gonna offer me two mil. I might not play that much. And I can yeah. go back home. Yeah, I could be around my family and friends. Yeah. Play. <laughs> and people that speak my language. <laughs> and still get two million. Right. And be a so, celebrity too over there. Yeah. So the same with Going back to the Warriors, I think any guys that they put in, now they're going to lose a lot defensively, but I think they still go out and have the same type season. I'm still seeing. Like, I think they would have won 60 games if Steph doesn't get injured. So I'm saying as long as Steph is on that team, he plays his normal game, I see them going out winning like 58 to 60 games. Okay. You have to play the young guy. You got to think. And that's what I was telling people. That was their free agency. You got three young guys that didn't play in the finals. Yeah. So you go out, you're adding Moody, you're adding Kaminga, and you're adding Wiseman. Those are free agents. And yeah. now you picked up Dante DiVincenzo. Who's that's a great, great pickup. Pick man, that was a great pickup. I love that pickup, man. Man, he can shoot. And that's why I like Good boy can shoot, bro. <laughs> and I'll put it like this. He may not replace. He can play a little bit of defense, too. Yeah, he doesn't replace um, Otto. I mean, he doesn't replace GP2, but he definitely can bring what Otto Porter had. Mm -hmm. Another thing that kind of sucks with Otto, too, is he was 6'8", so he was a sneaky big. But DiVincenzo is going to be good for stretching the floor. So, like, Robin let teams know, no, if you blitz Steph and you get scared of him, you're going to have DiVincenzo and you're going to have some lineups with Clay on the other side ready to shoot. Same with Moses Moot. He's a good – he's a shooter, too. So who would you start – would you start – Uh, you got to start Wiseman, though. He's the first pick. You got to start him, really. Yeah, so they're probably going to start Wiseman. Looney is the backup. Yeah. And then – um. Kamiga is going to be Wiggins back up. You know who's going to be Draymond? Who's going to be Draymond back up? The power forward. Kamiga. Kamiga, right? Then Wiggins, um, Wiggins and Moody. Right? Kamiga will pretty much spell Wiggins and Draymond because he could play the three and uh, he could play the two and. Right. Uh, I mean, the regular season would be like a ten man rotation, so they bench would be Moody, Looney. Yep. Pretty much to be. See, man, I, might, I don't know. We'll see how Clay is. Yeah. Who a hundred million? Too, I think he's going to be better. Now, nah, Clay not going to come off the bench, but I think he's going to be better having actually. You got to think a he whole came back summer. in January. Yeah, he get he get a whole c c camp with yeah. his team. It's the Warriors going to be dangerous. It's over, dog. Yeah. It's going to be dangerous. Yeah. But yeah he so, came back in January, and then you fast forward six months later, you're playing in the finals after you just missed. Like three years against <laughs> so, uh, against Boston as, as like, hard as I physical am Clay, games, bro. Against Boston, like you got to deal with Marcus as Smart. Hard as I am on Clay, right off the injury, he got better defensively. Now I ain't gonna lie that his his uh, shooting. Is what you hate about him. But then there's some threes he hit. I was just like, wow. 
I could believe it. Like he caught that shit no conscious. Yeah, I think this year was the only year he shot under forty percent from. He shot forty percent from three since his rookie year, so he was one of the greatest shooters ever. Easy, forty percent. Uh, that's ridiculous. But that's what I'm saying. If they can get back to that point where he's damn near automatic when he's open, it's gonna be a problem. But that's why I say like the Warriors' second unit is gonna be nice though. You got to think cool, cool, moody, cool, moody, Kaminga. Why, uh, then you got uh, Looney mixed in with Jim, Vincenzo. Maybe Jim, that's probably going to be the problem. And who else they probably fill it out with. They're going to probably fill it out. I think that guy Weatherspoon is going to get a spot. Uh, and then, um, you know, if they bring back Chioza or somebody. But they'll probably – I think they they could possibly get a vet. Who I would like to see go there, though. They got a mid-level exception. Do they use it or they don't have it? They used uh, four million of it. Well, four point five million of it on um, Iggy. Nah, on uh, what's his name, Di Vincenzo. Okay, I get it because they didn't really. Well, what's the point of bringing in somebody that's, you know, they already got. They don't need nobody to mess up the chemistry. So Di Vincenzo fit right in. Yeah, so I would like another big for insurance. I would actually like Boogie to go back. I was just I about to ask you what you think about Cousins, bro. He played good again. He was going crazy with backing up Jokic, dog. My thing is, what's wrong with with Denver? Why would you sign DeAndre Jordan and let Over Boogie Cousins. walk? Yeah, that's stupid. Cousins like, is the baller, dog. I don't get that. I don't get that. Man, and, like, I, hope, even, I hope the Warriors think about that and bring Cousins back. We could have Cousins. Like, I, I ain't got nothing against Looney, but he not he's not Cousins on offense, bro. I, I think the only problem you have with Cousins, though, is he's so talented – that it's like you damn near want to play him, but you can't give him starters minutes. I know what you mean. I know what you, mean. you can't I not play him. You can't have him on the bench like not yeah, play him. Yeah, think <laughs> it's hard to have that talent and just let him sit. Cause so let's say he come in, it's like damn, we got Wiseman and we just gave Looney this bag. So it's like. Well, we gonna make Looney be our third guy, but why I would say it would probably be good to have Boogie though, and if he buys in, is we need to rest Dre and them a lot, so you will be getting a lot of playing time because we gotta rest these guys. Uh -huh. But I know Boogie; he's a competitor. He wants to be out there in crunch time. Yeah, you know, in a team like the Warriors, they don't need that kind of attitude. They but I ain't going to lie, man, Denver is stupid because I think that last game, game five, Boogie was killing the Warriors. He'd be going crazy, dude. And then uh, he actually took him out at the beginning of the fourth, and uh, the Warriors went on a run. I was like, take Boogie out now. He is Sorry. killing, killing them. But I'm like. If I'm Phoenix, I def consider signing Boogie. If you're uh, if I'm Phoenix, yeah. If definitely, if you're not bringing back Aiton, and um, and they can get they can get something for Aiton, but it's like I just feel like Chris Paul being 38, Booker gonna have to turn into like I don't know. It's just like I mean, even if, like you say, you can't you can't win with just one player now, dog. That no, Booker the only one that consistently gave him 30 points. He's the only one that consistently used to give you 25 to 30. He was the only one. And see, I don't know who has that role in the league right now, but Phoenix would have been perfect for like a Jamal Crawford type player. Yeah, somebody who can just really come in, get you, get, get buckets. A bucket. Yeah, <laughs> he was just talking about that. Like, that's what he do. He get buckets, dog. <laughs> but it's like, so, and that's what made him good. And um, with the Clippers, is it's like, all right, this is a guy. He doesn't need Chris Paul to throw him a hoop. He doesn't need Blake to set him up. He could just go out and get a bucket. I really don't know who. Yeah, I really don't know if it's a guy like that in the league right now. Who? Who can you say really go out and, and get a really, bucket? And that's willing to come off the bench. He wanted to come off the bench, basically. You said what? I said he was known as a, a player that come off the bench. I don't yeah, know no player that's willing to come off the bench as good as, as good as Crawford is. Maybe I can go Jordan Poole, but I'm telling you, and this is what makes me shocked with the league. Like, 
I think a guy that can fill that role and you just ride him for if he get in buckets, why aren't people taking, like, shots on Jabari Parker? I don't understand. He is his, though. It's crazy to me. Man, he's like my favorite player out of Duke, dog. I ain't going to lie. Man, he like, was, that man. draft, that was my guy. Oh, that was, that was your guy, too, and Trevor. We always like Jabari Parker, dog. Man, Jabari was so nice, man. Like I He really put in the work, too, man. He just got hurt, man. Man, and he kept, but the crazy thing is he came back from that first new ACL that tore that motherfucker again. Because I remember it was like a game when Milwaukee, they played uh, – the Cavs, you know, the uh, the big three Cavs, you know, Bron, Love, and Kyrie. And, man, they couldn't do nothing with Jabari. They was, like, just throwing it to him in the post. <laughs> and he was getting buckets on Bron. Like, his footwork was, like, impeccable. Yeah, he like a, I thought he was going to be another Carmelo, man, honestly. And then he had that burst where it's like, he was dunking everything around the rim, too. Mm-hmm. So... It kind of sucks. I think he just kind of fell into a bad luck situation because it was like one Giannis took his leap, but he came there thinking he would be the guy. So yeah, that's hard injured. to be like, all right, yeah, like, Giannis became Giannis, like, dang. But so, but then you got to think he gets injured, and then it come back as Giannis' team. But he was still looking good, and then this he tore that ACL again. And so now you got Middleton. Now you got Middleton. He wasn't even doing that in Detroit. He comes to Milwaukee All Star. <laughs> yeah, but see, you get that opportunity though, Middleton. You got to take that, that two slash three spot when Jabari gets injured. So yeah, like that's why. Yeah, he took advantage of the opportunity. You got to give him credit for that, right? Right. He, that boy was like, "All right, I ain't losing my spot." No, you, you yeah. just have to. It's it's business. Uh, I I hate it. But that's why I think cousins for competition. I like cousins there just to because they make what's name step up too. Uh, Louis, yeah, Louis, but I'm all right, Phoenix, I'm not getting minutes for free no more. <laughs> but if, if, if I'm Phoenix, I definitely would have uh, tried to sign. Uh, I definitely try to sign Boogie if I can. To Kansas, it was because Kansas Paul Pierce. Yeah, that's a better I comparison. Think, yeah, what I like about it. What I like about Jabari, too, is he had his own pace. You couldn't speed him up. So I like guys that don't get sped up. It's like, you know, they just do everything slow. That's why I like him. I like Jamal Murray. And I like Jokic. It's like, no matter what y'all are doing, I'm still at this one pace. I'm going to just go here and do what I do. So it's, I don't know. I guess, you know, a lot of the free agent signings are done. I guess you're just going to see what Phoenix do with eight. I guess they eight got his wake-up call. They pretty it's kind of like, yeah, we're not giving you $100 million to, to the average 15 and 10, bro. Yeah, it's like, look, Jokic, that's who get it. Uh, I'm an Andre Miller fan, so I remember. So, yeah. I and Andre, I'm about to date myself, but he really came on that scene when that Utah team uh, beat North Carolina. It was him and Michael Doliak. And, um, oh, yeah. Shout out North to them, Carolina. too, though. There's some ballers that never really – Yeah. Like, North Carolina had yeah. D.C., <laughs> Shamar Williams, who was probably the best player out of all of them in college. For real. And, yeah. and, uh, and Antoine Jameson. And so, had, we know how good he was, too. What up, Gerald? Yeah. I hope Gerald yeah. come on. Hop on, Gerald. I've been trying to get him to come on. Oh, there you go. He coming. 